Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will be focusing on three new tools in Sheet Metal. We will be talking about the double wall tool, the hinge tool, and finally the tab tool. Generally used in the sheet metal industry to add strengths to your sheet metal part, the double wall creates a duplicate wall of an already existing wall. To create a double wall, simply start by selecting the double wall tool. Next, go ahead and select a face you would like to apply this double wall on. Once the face is selected, click the Selected Edges tool guide located on the right side of the screen. This will allow me to select an edge where I want to place my bend. Once I have my face and my edge selected, simply select the completed check mark. And my duplicate wall has been created and the corresponding features have also been automatically created. Using the double wall tool, I can also select multiple faces. To do this, simply start by selecting a face and control selecting other faces. You can also double select a face and this will automatically select all the faces that are tangent to it. As you can see, I double selected this face and all the faces corresponding to it has been selected. Next, I will use my selected edges tool guide to select my edge. And this time, I'm gonna select a different edge, select my check mark, and there you go. I have my duplicate wall created. Now let's go ahead and unfold this part to see how it looks. As you can see, one side is taller than the other side. This is because it takes into account the bend radius. As you may already know, the bend radius for the original wall has to be bigger than the bend radius of the duplicate wall. One thing to keep in mind with this bend radius is that the original wall must have an inside radius which can accommodate the duplicate wall. An inside radius which is too small will not allow this double wall to be created. Next, let's talk about creating a hinge. To create a hinge, simply start by selecting the hinge tool. Next, select an edge where you would like to apply this hinge. If you have selected a satisfying edge, you will get a blue preview of this hinge. Selecting an edge where you are not allowed to create a hinge will not give you a preview. Once you see your preview, you can go ahead and change your hinge options to create your desired hinge. This pin diameter is the diameter of the rod which runs through the hinge. For this example, I'm going to select a pin diameter which is 3 millimeters. The pitch is the dimension from the point of the knuckle to the same point of the adjacent knuckle. So basically it's the distance between knuckles. This example, I'm going to apply a pitch of seven millimeters. Once I have selected my pitch, next I can select my knuckle length. Changing the knuckle length will also change the number of knuckles in your hinge. For this example, I will use a knuckle length of two millimeters. The next hinge option is the end play. An end play is the amount of axial movement between the two sheet metal walls that are connected by this hinge. For this example, I will use an end play amount of 0.2 millimeters. Finally, you have the paint clearance. The paint clearance is the space dimension from the knuckle edge to the adjacent wall. For this example, I will change my paint clearance to 0 0.05. Once I'm happy with my hinge preview, simply select the check mark, and there you go. Your hinge has now been created.
Once the hinge has been created, you can always select the hinge and change the options from the hinge properties menu. Let's say now I would like to change my pin diameter to two millimeters and this automatically updates my hinge. Now let's go ahead and unfold this part to see how it all looks. You can see from the unfolded part, Space Cream takes into account the hinge and unfolds the part. All right, now let's talk about creating a tab. You can create a tab on a sheet metal junction such as a bend, split, or a T-junction. For this example, let's look at a T-junction. So now I have two solids which are located here and now I would like to apply a tab between these parts. I'm simply going to start by selecting the tab tool. Now I'm going to select an edge of one side of the part which is touching the other side. Space Claim will now understand that I'm trying to create tabs between these two parts. Once I have my tab preview, I can go ahead and change my tab options. I can start by changing the length of my tab. I can adjust the spacing between my tabs. I can also change the clearance. For this case, I will keep the default value. And the height of this tab is twice the height of your sheet metal thickness. I can also select options such as rounding my tabs or creating a chamfer. For this case, I'm simply going to pick sharp edges and I'm not going to check flip. Flip will flip the tabs around and create the hold on the other side. For this example, this option is not applicable as it is a T-junction. Now once I'm happy with my preview, I will simply select my check mark. And as you can see, my tabs have been created. To have a closer look, let's hide each side of the part. And you can see one side of the tab. And you can also see the corresponding side where the holes have been automatically created. As you can already guess, if I select my tabs, I can go back into my properties menu and change my tabs properties. Now to create tabs for the other side of my T-junction, I could simply go back and control select multiple edges to create my tabs simultaneously. As you can see, I have tabs on the bottom and the top side of my T-junction. Select the check mark and I have tabs going all around. This wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.